Girl, hip dips and green eyes. Today, I want to show you different cookie recipes that are unique and different from most other cookie recipes. Since both recipes have no butter or flour added, they are gluten free and dairy free. Let's begin. So, the first recipe is called Sweet Bean Sugar Cookies. To start, take a blender, I'm using my magic bullet, and add half a cup of cooked chickpeas. I used the canned and I just drained them and washed them. And I put them into my magic bullet and let them kind of pulse. So as I was doing this, I realized that the mixture was a little bit dry. So I added a little bit of water each time until I got it to the consistency I like. The reason I use chickpeas is because they help control blood sugar levels. They help aid in weight loss. They promote against heart disease. They provide all the vitamins and minerals you need. And it's a good source of plant-based protein. So as you can see, this is a good texture because it will make your batter or your main dough uh, nice and um, a good consistency, basically. So basically to a bowl, I put two cups of almond flour. So the reason I chose almond flour is because it's a better alternative than most other flours, like wheat flours. It is, all, it is also gluten-free, low in carbohydrates, whereas like wheat flour is high in carbohydrates. And it's also high in fiber and protein. Then I added my chickpea mix that I made earlier. It kind of looks or resembles hummus, but um, it's not hummus because it doesn't have the savory ingredients. Next, instead of adding butter, I had to add some type of oil source, so I did olive oil. Olive oil is definitely very good for you. You can also use coconut oil. It's just I used olive oil because I have someone in my family that's allergic to coconut. So whatever works better for you. But either way, olive oil helps with hair, nails, and eyes. It also aids in weight loss, and it jumpstarts the body um, to fight against the bacteria and diseases. Next, for a sweetener, instead of adding refined sugar, I added half a cup of raw honey that I just took in um, a cup, and I melted it in the microwave. I like honey because it's a natural sweetener, and it doesn't isn't refined like most other sugars. And it also gives it a nice taste, I find, two cookies and two baked goods. So I prefer to use that over um, a lot of the refined sugar. You can also use coconut sugar, but I like how it's a liquid and it just nicely melts into the mixture. So once you have done that, just some small ingredients. We, um, add one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then for flavor, you're going to add half a teaspoon of almond extract. Um, one tablespoon of vanilla extract and Himalayan pink salt taste. Then once you've added all that, make sure there's no chunks of baking soda or baking flour in your mixture. Fold it, mix it, and if it helps, you can also use a sift or you can blend it afterwards to so double check. So this is the current consistency of the mix. Um, and in my opinion, for sugar cookies, it it's a little bit um, too moist. I mean, you could use it, but um, I didn't really want to. So what I did was I added an extra cup of almond flour just to help thicken it up and make it the consistency I wanted it. So give that a nice stir. And once you have done that, I've lined an, a sheet of aluminum. And I took my cookie scooper and I made little cookie shapes. So now... After I baked them, I had realized that for the size of the cookie, I think it's better to make them smaller. So I recommend if you want to use like maybe two spoons and make them a little bit smaller, it's a little bit easier and they cook faster and don't burn. So when I made those little tiny, or not even tiny, but little um, scoops, um, 
I wanted to decorate them, so I took raisins, I took dates, and I took chocolate, and I put them on top for design, and I think they look really, really pretty and elegant, and they're definitely good for Christmas parties and Christmas cookies. So once I added the chocolate, raisins, and dates, I made sure that they were all like perfect, and then I put them in the oven. So I baked them at 350 degrees for about 7 minutes, but baking them all depends on the size. So just make sure you watch them, but at the end you basically want golden brown cookies, and that's what I got, so I'm very happy with them. I think they look really, really pretty, elegant, and they're a little bit nicer than the typical sugar cookie or the sugar cookie shapes, and these also save you from having to roll out the flour um, and the mixture for sugar cookies. So the next recipe is called Not So Nice with a Lot of Spice. Uh, sugar cookies. So what I did was um, I took enhanced collagen and almond flour because I didn't have enough almond flour left. But if you do have enough almond flour, you can take two cups of almond flour and add them to the cup like the first recipe. Then I was taking Yukon syrup, which is the world's healthiest and natural sweetener. So basically the reason I love this syrup is because it it kind of resembles maple syrup. But it's basically from a plant, and because this it's a plant-based, it doesn't contain any, um, it doesn't raise your blood sugar, basically. So now for some spice, I added nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. You can all do this to taste, because I know, depending on how you like it, or how you like your cookies, you'll like the amount of spice that goes into it. Then I added some vanilla extract and Himalayan salt to taste. Once you have mixed all those together, basically give it a nice stir. And as you can see, I love stirring it, so I spend a lot of time on that. Um, at the end, this is the mix you should get. It looks a little bit similar to the other mixture, but it is a little bit darker and there's a lot more spice to it. Not as sweet either. So this time around, I took smaller... I made smaller cookie shapes, so they're like that. And then for a change, I added cashews and almonds on top to give it a different look. So if you bring both cookies to the same party, it's not exactly the same. Either way, it still looks really good. And put them in the oven for 350 for about 5 minutes. And when you take them out, you have cookies like this. Then I plated them, and they are nice and soft. And they look really, really elegant. You can always make them bigger or smaller depending on what you like. But I added some cinnamon sticks in the middle for presentation. And they look really, really delicious. And so there you have it. You have some Christmas cookies. So overall, I just plated them and put them side by side to each other to see how they look. But either way, they are cozy cookies that are perfect for holiday parties that keep your waistline slim. They are warm, chewy, and irresistible. So I hope you enjoy. Have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you soon. And also, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more head to CVI. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!